Welcome to Cable Magic, and now we're looking at a six way splitter. Uh, you see, a six way splitter basically has one input at the top and one, two, three, four, five, six outputs. Uh, this is a digital type F type splitter. Let's get some focus there. Apologies for the video. Digital splitter. Um, how do you know it's a digital split, splitter? By a rule of thumb, any splitter that has uh, that's metal like this and has the screw-on connections is a digital compliant splitter. Uh, it has two little holes. Most splitters do for screwing in, mounting it to timber, mounting it to the wall, mounting it to a joist inside the ceiling, etc. Um, so, what else do you need to know? Any splitter will have a frequency range. This one's 5 to 1000, meaning it's a basic free-to-air splitter. You've got six outputs. One splitter, one output rather, on any splitter will have what's called a power pass. It might be a very hard to, to read that, but this one here, it has a little red line going across from the input. It says in and it says power pass and it's pointing to this output this one right here that I've got my finger on that's then telling me that if you have a masthead amplifier a booster in the mix and you're using this six-way splitter the power pack for your booster must be connected to the TV point that is connected to this output called the power pass this allows 12 volts to go through the splitter up, back up to the antenna where the booster would be. The booster would sit up on the antenna, come down from the roof, connect in here, and then you've got these six outlets. But the one with the power pass will connect to this output right here because this output has the properties to allow 12 volts. It's called the power pass and it won't work on any others. That's really important. Any splitter will have an output that's called the power pass. That's only if you have a booster or a masthead amplifier in the mix. Uh, what else do you need to know? Uh, general rule of thumb, how much loss do you get from a splitter? Um, a rule of thumb that I, I've always gone by, the size of the splitter plus two. So that means that this is a six-way splitter, I would expect to lose six to eight dB. And you know, that changes from frequency to frequency. And uh, meaning if you're in a UHF zone, you will lose more signal than you would in a VHF zone. Uh, and it's actually got written here, this splitter is rated, I don't know if you can read that, but uh, they've got minus 9 dB, so that's not bad, but you know, that, that's not a, a set um, loss by any means. That's 9 dB uh, at uh, one particular frequency that has been tested at, and I, I would say that's probably a UHF, the top of the range, I'm, I'm not too sure, but... Um, it's going to change, and then obviously you got the, the loss of your cable, but roundabout, as a, as a general rule of thumb, you would say between 6 to 8 dB loss, um, 9 is, is definitely in the ballpark for you, that's how much uh, loss you're going to have. And, and if you know about losses, you're probably going to know um, more about it anyway, and it's not going to mean much to you if you don't even have a way of measuring it. So I wouldn't worry about losses too much unless you are really up to speed and you have the testing instruments to do so. But here we have it, a six-way splitter, metal, digital, and um, these are available from Cable Magic.